In this video, I'm speaking about how to draw backgrounds with soft pastel sticks from Royal Talents called Rembrandt. I really love the Rembrandt soft pastel sticks. They are soft, but not as soft that they turn into powder and you can really blend them really very well and create wonderful blurry backgrounds with them. You can also use them for your base layers. So you can, um, I just want to show you these Rembrandt soft pastel sticks here. Before we start, I invite you to download my free beginner's guide. There you find information that is helpful if you would like to start drawing realistic animal portraits with pastels. Today I want to show you the Rembrandt soft pastel sticks and also test them out and blend them a bit together. I really love them to use for backgrounds, for blurry backgrounds in my animal portraits and also for um, creating underpaintings for example if I would like to have more brilliant colors in the animal portrait or use the black for very deep dark blacks. They come in a beautiful box here with a nice um, print on top this is really beautiful then when you open them there is here they are really well packed uh, and here below you find the brilliant, beautiful soft pastel sticks. I have here a set uh, of, of portrait uh, pastel sticks, so portrait colors. I have here 30 pastel sticks, Rembrandt soft pastel sticks and this portrait set is beautiful. I have chosen that because we have here lots of browns, so ochre colors, greens, amber and so on, burnt sienna in there, also the black and the white, a bit of cream, some yellows, orange, red and all the colors for colorful backgrounds, a pink, a violet, a blue, so all kinds of colors here in the upper row and here the beautiful browns and ochres, embers, these nature colors we need in animal portraits. So with that portrait set of the 30 uh, soft pastel sticks, I am sure, so for me, this is a good investment to have some pastel pencils here in place for creating blurry backgrounds and not have a too big range of pastel sticks. If you have the budget available, of course, then you can buy more of them. They are our available 90 stick sets or 45 or also only 15. 30 and 120 also with some half sticks and the whole sticks so you have different choices and they are from uh, Royal Talents the name is Rembrandt the professional choice and they come in such beautiful boxes okay so then let's test them these Rembrandt soft pastel sticks, they have a high color abrasion, they um, have beautiful brilliant colors, they are soft but not as soft as, as they turn into powder when you put them on your paper like sometimes happened with very very ultra soft pastel sticks. So they are such a middle thing and I really like them to use in my animal portraits. Let's draw a bit of a blurry background here. You can easily apply the pigment. They are really soft. You have a lot of pigment on your paper, you see here. And you can then take a cotton swab or so for blending that you blend it here and and apply the pigment here on the paper or you also can use your finger and just apply it here 
then let's also take a bit of such an orange brown this is gold ochre and apply this here and let's take a, a burnt sienna color and apply that here so this is really nice you can apply them easily they have a really high color vibration and you can then start mixing them together let's take a brown here and and apply that and take a bit of an, a lighter brown this is gold ochre let's apply a bit of gold ochre i'm working here on the pastel matte paper from claire fontaine and then you can here so mix the edges mix the transitions blend them together you can take such cotton swaps and blend them together and create blurry backgrounds go over here and blend them together if you need more big pigment you can then always go in and add another layer here with a lighter cream color the more pigment you have on your paper here for blurry backgrounds the easier it is then to blend the colors together also when you add a bit white and then blend it together if you need more pigment let maybe then go over once more here we have a lot of loose pastel pigment that we can then blend together with the surrounded areas and create here a nice transition between the browns and create now so a beautiful blurry background you can also use them for an underpainting in your animal portraits when you plot in a bit of the pigment and then blend it really well so when you use it for an underpainting in your animal portraits I would recommend to blend the base layer really very well with a paper stamp and remove a bit of the pastel pigment that you don't oversaturate your paper and then you can also draw then some lines on top of it and draw fur so they are working also really very well for uh, creating your life like realistic animal portraits and use them as an underpainting if you would like to so to protect your pencils that you don't use a lot of your pencils and also work a bit with and the soft pastel sticks so the only thing that you easily have oversaturated your paper and maybe when you blend over it that the lines start to smear and smudge easier it is possible but you really have then to be careful you see here the color layers they start to to blend together faster so i personally prefer the pencils for the underpainting but if you would like to use some more brilliant colors like a very with a very high color abrasion maybe this brilliant oranges and so then they are really nice because they have a higher color abrasion than the pencils have so also the black rembrandt soft pastel stick this has a very dark deep black and it is beautiful to bring in contrast into your animal portraits and you also can blend that really well you can create here beautiful base layers or shadow areas in your animal portrait or also in your backgrounds if you have a black background this is also working really well okay so this was a bit of an introduction into Rembrandt soft pastel sticks I really like them to um, use additional to the pencils 
you are also faster with creating blurry backgrounds. They are very high quality soft pastel sticks. They are middle soft, they are soft and not as soft as they turn into powder or fall apart um, from your paper. Yes, so if you would try to test or try out soft pastel sticks, I can highly recommend to buy some Rembrandt soft pastel sticks from Royal Talents. Okay, maybe you also have now the wish to invest in Rembrandt soft pastel sticks and buy someone, at least some single Rembrandt sticks. They are really helpful and they are wonderful to create these blurry uh, backgrounds. I can highly recommend them. If you have any questions, write them below. I'm happy to answer. I also encourage you to download my free beginner's guide. There are also a lot of information and answers inside and also hit the subscribe button if you like my channel and then I hope I see you in the next video. Have a great time. Bye bye.